Joining us now is Ben Turney of Mission Partner Services. This week we've been talking a lot about mental health services in our area, and a lot of people might not know all the resources that are available. Mission Partner Services is a new specialty mental health clinic in Tyler. It serves our East Texas area. Ben joins us from there this morning. Ben, thank you so much for stopping by. Well, good morning. So what is your background? Well, me personally, I've, I've worked at a local mental health hospital uh, since 2001, and so uh, doing primarily case management. And then the therapists that work along beside me, uh, the main one is Lauren, and she is a master's level licensed professional counselor, and she's been doing that since 2008. There are several other therapists that's agreed to work with us. Uh, also, master's level licensed clinicians that have several years of treatment experience. And so each one is gonna kind of bring a, a little bit of different avenue and kind of a way to, to help these folks. And we're also hopefully kind of work with some uh, counseling interns, some folks that maybe have recently graduated. And so they kind of bring in a, a new flair uh, to, to some of the new, the new ways of kind of dealing things and helping folks. For sure, so tell me a little bit about what programs you have available there. What we do, it's with our program is called Outlook 180. And just like the name entails, we are here to help people transform their lives. And so what we do is we have folks attend what's called an intensive outpatient treatment program. And what that entails is three hours a day, three days a week, for about four weeks. So it's nine hours of therapy a week. And so it's kind of like a part-time job, maybe attending a college class, but it gives an opportunity for folks to really kind of delve in and kind of deal with the issues that's really making them struggle. And so what we do is we have them come in and it's it's a, a group type setting. And what that allows is it allows uh, first to kind of reach a wide variety of folks at the same time, but also it provides folks to get support and it, and it provides an opportunity to hear from other folks. So many people struggle with feeling alone. So many people feel that being sad is something to be ashamed of, uh, something that, you know, something that they can't talk about their with with their friends and their family and so they kind of feel alone they isolate and now with everything going on isolation is kind of a, a new norm and it's not really intended to, to do that so in a group type setting we have co folks come in they're vulnerable and so they need some help they need some guidance they need some people to talk to they need to learn some ways to kind of deal with things and also the beauty of a group type setting is it levels the playing field. Whether you're a high level executive, stay at home mom, whatever, you're here for a reason and you're here to get help and we're here to provide the help. Have you seen an increase in people uh, interested in your services since the pandemic? I mean, you mentioned people feeling alone. I'm sure more people have felt that with these stay at home orders, especially nursing homes as well. Somewhat, uh, we so, so we just kind of opened up, uh, so we haven't gotten just a whole lot because we're still we're still trying to get our name out. Now for the past 18 years, I worked in a program that was very similar to this. During that whole time, yes, I mean it it wasn't anything to have a regular service of of 25 people at a given time that needed this help. So yeah, the the demand was there both before COVID with COVID and it'll be there after COVID. So yeah, it is, it is definitely a, some, a service that is necessary. Thank you, Ben, for telling us a little bit about what you guys offer.